Hi, this is Jamie McMillan, and I have more of my favorite math resources to show you. Um, the ones I want to show you right now are by Mark Wall. He is a um, math curriculum writer and consultant that helps teachers with reluctant math learners. And I read this one a long time ago, but I checked, and it is still in print. And um, the nice thing about this book is it shows you how to teach math from multiple through multiple intelligences. And you've probably heard of that concept that every one of us has certain ways of learning that we prefer, you know, whether it's visual, spatial, or interpersonal, uh, kinesthetic, uh, audio. Um, it's important to be aware of this. You know, a lot of us aren't just one type, we might be several types, but particularly for kids in math, you know, not every kid is mathematically left-brained inclined. Uh, some are and some aren't. And I had some kids who were not. And this helped me so much because the first half of the book teaches you all about multiple intelligences, gives you hints on how to help, you know, a kinesthetic or a visual spatial learner. Um, and it has this, he breaks it down into the three animal types. Uh, he calls them the, the beaver, the owl, and the dolphin, which is kind of cute. It really helps put it in perspective. And then the second half of the book is um, actual activities that you can use, um, how to apply the things he talked about in the first half of the book. Um, it, it helped me a bunch. I ended up making up my own curriculum for my daughter uh, using her interpersonal skills. Um, the other thing I like to use this with my boys is this book, which is really fun. And this is something that Lockhart from Lockhart's Lament would have loved. Maybe he already knows about it, but it's a, uh, um, it's something you can uh, Xerox pages. It's meant for schools, so you're allowed to reproduce the pages. And it goes step by step. Um, like a journey format through all these, you know, the same Fibonacci numbers, patterns, ratios, um, all these cool things, you know, from the Greeks and the Romans and um, and these worksheets that go with it that approach math from a really cool perspective. It's really fun. There's lots of activities. There's this newspaper that the students get. So reading activities, it's a lot more fun. It's not your typical math textbook at all. And here's a, uh, a little supplement that went with it. I didn't get a chance to use this one because it was a little bit higher level for my kids. And, uh, and I, ne I never got around to using this one. I regret it, though now I'm looking at it thinking, oh, this would have been so much fun. Like, what is the stock market the golden ratio? So this is for a little bit more advanced kids. I think... The first one, the mathematical mystery tour, could easily be done with elementary age. Um, maybe, you know, fifth, sixth middle schoolers, they would have loved this. And then the last one I want to show you is Math Nuggets. And this was super fun. It has all kinds of um, uh, reproducible activities again. They're not your typical, and a lot of them use other materials besides what's in this page. So you have to find, you know, um, find sticks or toothpicks or whatever it is it calls for. You know, you might need to cut out something or use a protractor or a compass. Um, but it's, it's the kind of stuff that makes you think. It's not just answer these problems or practice these equations. It's the kind of math that really gets the students thinking at a higher level, um, which is exactly what we want, right? So anyway, I will put the uh, link for Mark Wall's books on my website. Thanks.